Hi guys, it's Luton here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the new iTunes, iTunes 11. It's been out for a little while, um, but I just accidentally upgraded to it today while I was doing a main OS update. It kind of stealthily updated itself in there, um, and it kind of freaked me out because when I first came into it, I suddenly was faced with this, and I was like, what is this what we're supposed to look at now? And then you look, you click at like genres, you click at albums, etc. Uh, ah, it suddenly looks totally different. What's happening here? Uh, it's all kind of gone a bit crazy. It's totally different. It's not at all what we would expect. It looks totally different. This is actually kind of nice, I have to say. But anyway, I I was like, where's the sidebar? Where's our songs? What? How do we get onto it? I started looking around and immediately found that you know there's loads of other people asking the same thing. They were freaking out. They were like, why can't we see our songs? Why can't we? It's actually not that big a deal. It's very simple. It's one of these things that seems kind of confusing at first, but once you know exactly what to do, it's super easy. Left hand side you got songs. Normally you wouldn't think, okay, songs, you just imagine like the list of all your songs. Actually no, the songs tab is where it looks like the standard iTunes again. So you just go there and you can see all the music listed, so that's no problem at all. Uh, the other thing though is you will need the sidebar back. You just need to go to view up on the top and then you go from view, you just click show sidebar. And there we go. Now we have our sidebar and we have our music we're back to standard iTunes view. So I actually saw a lot of people on forums and stuff going, I must revert, and they're doing all sorts of complicated stuff like uninstalling new iTunes, even editing some of the elements in their OS, deleting folders. If you start messing around with things like that and you haven't got your music backed up, you're potentially gonna lose some stuff, so it's not a great idea to do that. And also, it's totally unnecessary. Um, yeah, they've changed some of the features around, they've changed some of the layout, they've changed the look of it overall, but actually, you can revert, as you can see, back to its kind of standard look. Okay, it's changed around a little bit, but it's really not a big deal. And as I say, that two step there will get you safely back to your standard iTunes look. So I hope that's been a nice little help. Um, it, I say it freaked the hell out of me when I first looked at it. You get suddenly faced with something like so alien and that you didn't really think was gonna happen. You think it was just like a small update, etc. Um, but hopefully this will help you guys out. And as I say, I'd like to add in these little tech videos from time to time just to help people with things. Whenever I find something has confused me or I find it's a problem technically, I try to make a video about it because I always think the chances are if it's been a problem for me it will be a problem for somebody else and therefore it's worth making a video just to kind of help the kind of general knowledge pool there so to say as well just two easy steps get you back there thanks for watching see you next time